The views and opinions you hear on Talk Radio 680, WCBM, and WCBM.com are not necessarily those of the owners, management, employers, and advertisers of WCBM. But they should be. Loud thunder, heavy rain, thin line between joy and pain. No one is safe in Baltimore. People mistakenly believe the politicians are running the city. Let me tell you something. They are placeholders. The gangs are in charge. Just think about the fact that the movie, remember the movie The Wire? It exposed a lot of the corruption in Baltimore. And yet, even after the movie, after the series, the corruption continued. No one said, you know what, I think we've been ousted. It's now on HBO. Everybody's talking about it. We should probably stop wheeling and dealing. That didn't happen. If anything, things got worse, right? The Gun Trace Task Force, we saw that in the police department. Things got worse after the city was exposed. Think about that. So now you have the question is, do Baltimore residents, do they want public safety? Because I'm legitimately confused at this point. Here's what I would do if I were mayor right now. People always say, Kim, well, what's your solution? You have no solutions. You're always complaining. You're always whining on social media. What's your, I'll tell you what my solutions are. Here's the thing. I had solutions even when I ran for office. I had a whole platform. Nobody wanted to hear about them because I wasn't from here. But I had solutions. But I'll go ahead and give them to you again because now they've kind of changed. Now we have, within 2023, this year, students, kids being gunned down almost every other week. Kids under the age of 18. Now, first and foremost, I agree with Mayor Brandon Scott on the curfew. And for all the kids flashing guns and money on social media, including J-Rock's parents, you know what I would do? I would arrest them for child endangerment. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. You have so many people right now commenting on social media saying, oh, you know, you should, this shouldn't be you. I, I'm so sad this happened to you, nephew. Oh, cousin, why are you here? This is crazy. Meanwhile, you go to his Instagram page. This kid has been involved in criminal activity for years. You go to his Instagram page. You have adults, grown women hitting like on the pictures where he's got guns pointed at the camera. Are you kidding me? You're a grown woman hitting like on a 12-year-old holding a gun and gang signs? But you're shocked? You're absolutely shocked that this kid is now dead? You can't be serious. You're not a serious person. If we're all the drug lords recruiting these kids under 18, guess what I would do with you? I would charge you with human trafficking immediately. Immediately. Any of these kids that are with you, they've got your drugs on them. They got your guns on them. You're giving them money. I'm charging you. Human trafficking. Goodbye. And to kick things off, you know what I would do? I would bring in the National Guard for 60 days to start executing warrants and rounding these people up. We're down 600 officers short on patrol. It's a shame. It's sad. All these progressive policies have gotten us here. But guess what? Now you need somebody to get you out. But you have people like, like I said, Jay Miller. Oh, well, that's not a positive story. Let's do a positive story today. What are we going to put on the news? Oh, something positive. As if we're, we're ignoring reality, as if reality is going to somewhat disappear. It's not. It's not. And anyone here illegally? I know this is a, somewhat of a sanctuary city. Anyone here illegally? Sorry, but not sorry. Deported. Goodbye. Remember the kid that was shot at Patterson High School a couple weeks ago? Well, his gunman was at the Texas border trying to, pa- try to go over back into Mexico. Shouldn't have been here in the first place. We're not playing Sanctuary City anymore in Baltimore City. That's done. Over. Goodbye. And to top it all off at the very end of it, guess what? The superintendent, the school CEO, Sonia Santelises, and multiple administrators, they would all receive pink slips. You're not doing your job. You're not educating these kids. The kids aren't even saying in school. They leave the school campus and get shot and killed. You're not doing your job. They would all get pink slips immediately. And that's just how I would kick things off. Talk Radio 680 WCBM.